Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here. Welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin 2. Today we're confronting Wendigo. Wendigo? I always call her Wendigo. I know that's not her name. Uh, oh well. Let's, uh, before we go down there, we'll um, loot a bit. See what we find. Can't reach. Why not? Sometimes it's weird. Don't we have somebody with telekinesis? There we go. It's always uh, good to have somebody with telekinesis. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, Bloodstained journals and something else we found. What though? Oh, whatever. Experiments continue. Palantir has locked me in here. My own investigation cell. Is that this? Hold on. One of the Balatins came in last night, he said they know I've been colluding. He said he'll be coming by to question me tomorrow. What is going on? What? That's not Windy Ghost Journal, isn't it? That makes no sense. Oh, gold! Two gold! Also, how expensive is that hat? Not very expensive, okay. Um, can we go up here? Well, there's not much up there anyway. So let's go down there. See what we can do. Um, prediction? She will mind control these three and then we'll have to fight four on four. We'll see. Who are you? Hello. Give me room, lizard. She cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Too late. The spark's been snuffed. I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. Um, let's see. What's all this then? The magisters can quiet the songs of source using their collars and cages. I would normally call it a cruelty. But this windy girl. She must be contained. I agree. We found her here, already imprisoned, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even a dwarf's cheeks red. She was imprisoned by the magisters? Isn't she, like, in cahoots with the Black Ring? With the Immortal King? The evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had, mesmerizing you with candy-sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and coil. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was bewitched by his promise. Forgive me. Nope. You shake your head and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not on the prisoner, but on the paladin. Kill her! No. We're at war. Kem may not say it, but he knows it. We all do. This black witch. What she knows about the Magisters, the Void, Dallas, even if I had the means to slay her, her corpse is of no use to us. Her knowledge, her power, they could mean everything. Ah, I don't like that. Okay. Can I interrogate her? You underestimate her. You'd have me stand idle. As she raises arcs to the ground. In that moment, you hear music, a lullaby. You glance at the cage. Windigo stands silent. You squint and shiver until the melody no longer echoes in your ears. Let's see. Constitution. Rest your hand on her shoulder. You won't let her and her people come to harm. Memory. Scoff. Yes, she should stand idle, just like she's been doing until... Oh, that's not nice. Memory. Hero, hold your fist aloft. You have faced this woman before and failed in your task. It's now time to right that wrong... No, constitution is the best thing to do. There we go. I... I understand. Perhaps you are as dangerous to her as she is to us. There can be no success without risk. I agree. I will give you the space you need, then. May Lucian be your guide. Things are under control. For now. Okay. Oh, they're leaving? Wow. So we can do with her what we want. Let's see. Mercy is power. 
Uh, we gained access to the inner chamber where the paladins are keeping the prisoner in a strange magical cage and the paladins will no longer be an issue. Well, well, Wendigo. So we meet again, huh? You step up to the cell to look at the skeleton you know to be Wendigo. The barrier mutes her source, but it isn't her source you fear, but something more. A shadow. She says nothing, but you still hear her words. An unexpected pleasure. For both of us, I'm sure. Ah, go to hell. She looks to the nearby device, and an urge engulfs you. An urge to power down the device to release Windigo from her cell. Ah, I know, and I want to kill her, but I don't know if I release her, if I will release hell, basically. Okay, let's see what we can do. Succumb to the urge, you will release her, and this game she plays will end once for all. Question the urge, what is there to gain by freeing Windigo? Resist the urge, as long as you want her locked up, she will stay locked up, or confront her. Let's confront her. Her mouth remains closed, yet her voice settles in your mind like a damp fog. They cannot know. I can only ask you to trust me. The God King rejoices as long as I am chained. Free me and we might hobble him. What? The voice is gone. Windigo is still. What? So she's telling me... She lost faith in the God King and wants to be freed? You got to be kidding me. Although that would be a reason for the Magisters to imprison her, right? If she turns against them. I mean, we have saved. There is nothing to lose here, right? You reach your hand towards the device and your inner source is stifled. As if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. Oh. Interesting. You recall the blacksmith in Fort Joy that removed your collar. Try to copy her technique. After a bit of tinkering, the machine whines pitifully, and the shield surrounding the cell flickers off. Interesting, because I know you can go through the first act without ever um, getting to that um, outcome. So, kind of nice that I, a thing that we did long ago in the first act actually comes to help here. Come to me, sweet. She steps forward, slowly but confidently. She holds out her hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. I mean, she's level 17. Either she's gonna just insta-kill us, or she's actually a good person now. I don't know why, though. The God King no longer grants me his favor. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone, because the God Woken still walks Rivalong. So you failed and he just said, fuck off? Really? I don't know. It feels weird. It feels weird and wrong, doesn't it? Also, I'm trying to wait until the quick save. The later it gets in this game, the longer the quick saves take, you know? Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell I've lived. Somehow this is my fault now. Go fuck yourself. Come on. I hate him. So, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. Go to the new Chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. Who is the new Chosen? This creature, this monster, would have seen us drowned at sea. Kill her. I agree. If the God King has truly abandoned her, then this is our chance to slay her once and for all. Right? And the Rep Prince has no opinion. Oh, wait, or I'm telling my opinion to the, the Rep Prince. If she was truly with the God King and turned against him, she could prove a valuable ally. That is a clever thing. Mendigo has done nothing before to earn my trust. This changes nothing. All right, but she's... But if she so much peeks into my head, I won't hesitate to zig my blade. And No, I actually don't trust her at all. And the Rep Prince says... That you dare to utter the word of the God King tells me what I need to know. You die here and now. I want to kill her. I'm serious. I don't like this woman. I mean, the first time we met her after, um, in the first act there, I think she one-shotted us like once or twice. So, no. And so it is. I will break the contract, God Woken. 
If not with your help, then in spite of it. I mean, this is gonna be a boring fight, but... Ah, annoying. Did you just pop a potion? Ooh. I mean, that's powerful, but only one of us has lost his shield yet. And it's Ifan. Yeah, of course, she curses him. Jesus, she has a lot of action points. Is that what happens if you um, play solo? That's the strength of your character, basically. So, okay. First and foremost, get over here. Come down, you prick. On our level. Yeah, there you go. That's how we do. Well, she is quite powerful. Well, a physical armor is not that impressive. So we'll summon an incarnate, a physical one. That should do quite fantastically here. What's up? Boom, let me beat you. Yeah, that's her armor gone. Yeah, she will die this turn. And we will see if she speaks the truth. Because if she's abandoned by the God King, she will not rise again. And now, bitch slap to hell! What? To the dark with you. Virtue token. A glistering source orb. Consuming this will bestow two source points. What? Are you... Are you for real? Is... Is, is that actually do... Will that do what it says? Really? Will that really give me two additional source points? Uh, no. I can't consume it, yeah. Oh, what the hell? Five source points? Um. Oh, wait. Or. Hold on. It, that, that, oh, does that mean it, I just gained two source points? Like, recharging them? Let's just see. Let's give it to Ifon, because Ifon has w lost one. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, okay. Well, sorry. I have to reload real quick. Um, there we go. That makes more sense. So it's a source consumable. Interesting. I was, I was just saying, like, what? This is broken as hell. No, no, no. It is. Um, that makes sense. So we killed her. The paladins will not be happy. I don't care. This was my personal vendetta right now. Um, do, but who do we give this to, by the way? This source uh, virtue token. Um, hold on. He, I mean, he uses overpower. That uses one source point. Kali is the other frequent use. Oh, she has one that costs three, huh? So we'll give it to her. Because then she can use the thunderstorm and still do chain lightning all over the place. So that's a good, that's a good uh, way to do it. Right. So I think this quest is closed. We decided to find Wendigo. The thing is, I'm pretty sure this could have been a longer quest. Where she helps you or maybe betrays you. But honestly, I don't give a damn. Um, agree. <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll leave. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's almost like in, um, like in Oblivion or something. If you, um, um, go into somebody's house, you rob them blind, and while you're leaving, the owner comes back and he's, uh, or wakes up and sees you. He's like, you need to go now. And you're like, yep, I'm on my way. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened. Ooh, whoops. Decided to slap the crate there for no reason whatsoever. Oh well. Right. So. Um, that was interesting. That was very interesting indeed. Um, so, what do we do now? What do we do? We learned Lord Aru is the keeper of the cathedral. Seems that anyone who wishes to enter the tomb of Lucian will Find need his light. The Help. There may be hidden chambers. Then their vault of... I, I want to go to his vault, seriously. Because I... I have the feeling Lord Kem is hiding something. 
Something that might be very, very... Oh, oh, oh! Chemist Mansion is right this way! So... We shall go right this way, don't you think? I mean... I mean, yeah! Come on! And I also already see an alternative entrance to his mansion, just in case. Who are you, citizen? Look at the size of that thing! Which thing? Which thing you're talking about? My thing? Your thing? Oh! Oh, that thing! Oh yeah, that is quite impressive indeed! What do we have here? Traitor! I got real lucky when the Void Woken attacked. They didn't go anywhere near the chemist state. I know some people what lost everything. I can imagine. Oh, he sells paintings, really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, these artifacts are worth nothing. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll just get some money here. Diamond. Let me just uh, give him some stuff that we've been saving up so far and that has not really given us anything. Also, yeah, I'm gonna sell the Tyrant stuff now, because um, basically in my other playthrough I managed to assemble the complete Tyrant set, which is a quest, I know, which I cannot do anymore anyway, so F that. And that was interesting, the Tyrant set is pretty cool for a while. The biggest problem I have with it is that if you want to replace the Tyrant set, you basically have to replace all of it at once, because only if you wear the whole set, it... Um, it basically disables all the negative effects, so... Oh yeah, there we go. More money. Alright, let me have a, a little stroll here. I want to take the... ...surroundings... ...in, uh, in view. The man and the elf keep their voices to a discreet level, but it's impossible to miss the tension between them. They're arguing. What more to convince you? More void woken? A plague? An earthquake? Arx is doomed. Our future is elsewhere. Farron, come on. Where's this elsewhere that's better than Arx? This is the greatest city in the world. I'll leave it over my dead body. Exactly. Your dead body. My dead body. This place is dead. We can be together anywhere. Interesting. They fall into a sullen silence, neither of them willing to give in. You should stay, because I'm gonna make this city great again. <laughs> Keep out of this. This is not a good time. Please leave us. Oh, you. You're like an old couple fighting. Let's see, what else do we have here? Citizen. Oh, another big void woken. Pilgrims, priestess. Let's talk to the priestess. Keep the victims of this tragedy in your prayers, stranger. What is this? A new quest. A lizard nightmare. We saw that void walking outside the lizard consulate in Arx. Lizard consulate? Oh. Oh, is that... Is this like a... Um, like an embassy of the lizards? And the void woken were drawn to it? Is that why everybody hates lizards now? Is that what happened? I mean, that would make kind of sense, right? Let's see. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go in here later because I really want to go to Kemp's mansion. Um, days and drinking tea with friends. Your children seem well adjusted to another Okay, life. there is um, people inside, so we'll have to be a bit on the lookout when we go in. Let's see, there is Greg Ganem. Who is that? The man in front of you is clad in a ragtag assortment of garb from different cultures. He looks up from repairing a battered instrument to smile and nod at you. One ah. traveller to another. A bot! Ho oh there, fellow traveller. Luronta. Looking for some cheer to lighten the mood of this grim, dark city? Ask about his travels. Have you ever travelled through the ancient empire? Yes, Kalisti, I did indeed. Such a beautiful place, such beautiful culture. I look forward to going back someday. 
Someday, when the roads are safe again. That's such a weird accent. Are you a bard? Well, now, I do love music, it's true. But my instrument has given up the ghost after long days on the road. Rav, believe me, traveling takes its toll. I'm from a place called Aleroth. I'm traveled back in years. When I first left home, I had an idea traveled make me more well-rounded and, you know, interesting. Sure. But instead, I'm kind of uncomfortable everywhere. So now I'm traveling till I find a place that really feels like a true home. Because when nowhere feels like home, you start to forget who you are a little. At least, I do. Sing something! Of course, I'm glad to. My words lift your spirits, no mistake. But I need to pay my way, so I'd ask you for a little gold if you have it. What do you say, Rav? Sure. The poet tips his floppy hat to you as he counts the coin you handed over. Now, what poem do you like to hear? A classic? classic or one of my originals? Heck, let's see your work, buddy. Take a seat, Rav. Make yourself a tome. Give me a moment to clear my throat and listen. All right. I've walked this earth, each veil and... I like your loot. Can I show you a real one? Forests fair, the city's peak. Okay, that rhymed already. That's good. Each place I've come to find... My surest friend is my own mind. Ooh. From my home in Alaroth. I know quality I packed see my life and I think you do too. Enough. Care to trade? I set my course far on the map. And here I am to tip my cap. Oh, really? That's it? Well, not sure that was worth 100 gold, to be honest, but okay. Whatever, dude. Uh, Trader Adam! The man taps his foot in time to the bard's tune, though he stills it as you draw near and clears his throat. That's kind of interesting that that is now, you know, in reference to what the bard is doing. <coughs> if you're looking for Kat, she's evaluating all of Kem's antiquities. It, uh, it'll be a while. If you're in a shopping mood, well, I can help with that. Evaluating of all of Kem's antiquities. That sounds like she's stealing them. <laughs> it sounds like that it's what I'm about to do, to be honest. <laughs> oh, the one has fallen. That's a cool name. Are these names, like, randomly generated, by the way? I would really like to know. Because some of these names remind me of, like, Diablo 2, or general, the Diablo um, franchise's name uh, giving, so to speak. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to uh, rare items and, um, and uh, rare monsters and rare weapons the and stuff. The sways in time to the bard's tune, but stops as you approach. She looks at the mansion nervously, then back to you. What is going on here? Yes. Have, have my treasures caught your eye, Dave? Have you all stolen for him from his mansion and selling them outside of his mansion? Uh, have you? Well, you anything else I can do you for then? Find. I mean, my shortest friend is my <laughs> I have the feeling these guys are all thieves. With a nervous way. I my life this is like a band of thieves or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can get inside. You're here on sufferance, lizard. If I had my way, you'd be on the next boat home. Jesus, lad. Lighten up, will ya? Okay, so we can just waltz into his home, apparently. Interesting. And who is that? Cat the Appraiser. Elven Bodyguard. Do we have a quest with it? Old means gold. We encountered some antique traders who are awaiting a notable appraiser. Cat to emerge from Lord Kim's home. The Butler. Yet another fresh face. My word, the mansion's positively overrun with foreign folk on this most inauspicious of Lucian's days. Yes, indeed, good sir. He catches himself and scrapes his throat in a brief moment of embarrassment. 
I, I, I do apologize if I came across as impertinent just now, and I hope you'll forgive my unabating boldness when I assume Sir has come here in search of an audience with either Lord or Lady Kim. Sure, the lady, I suppose? Lady Kem is having tea in the drawing room over in the north wing. I'm quite certain a person as obviously well traveled as yourself will have no problem drifting in that general direction should he deem it fit to do so. Uh, I love how he talks. He has a very eloquent way of speaking. That is beautiful. What, what, what about the foreign folk? Oh, oh, I, I meant, of course, sirs, countrymen, the lizard excellences that have sought shelter under this esteemed roof in the aftermath of the dreadful attack that was inflicted upon the Imperial Consulate. Oh, did they? It saddens me to say there are a number of deaths to mourn. But no doubt we all rejoice in the survival of the nobles. After all, a mere clerk is so easily replaced, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Unlike a butler, say? <laughs> Dryly point out you are no noble. As you rightly point out, sir, quite unlike a butler. Yeah, that's more like the Red Prince, isn't it? Say that you're, you'd you very much like to have a word of... No, we don't. We know where Lord Kem is. Yes, do please excuse me, for I have a party of dignitaries to attend to. They have an appetite for an aperitif, and the port, needless to say, does not pour itself. Of course. All right, let's talk to Kat, the appraiser. For heaven's sake, would you please... Oh, we were so sorry. I thought you were that rotten butler about to warn me once again to take the ocular, not the tactile approach. Uh, okay. I swear I have a mind to beat oh. to death with the nearest dictionary I can find. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, that means look and not touch, right? That's what she wanted to say. Okay, let's see. Um, what can we do? Tell her that even contemplate such a perniculous assault is to venture headfirst into the most repellent realm that is utterly immorality. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh, I'm, I'm saying that. That sounds good. Oh, do spare me. That little snob thinks me unworthy of being in his precious lord's mansion and praising his precious lord's collection of antiques. Just you try judging the state of a Vedistian armor if you're not even allowed to rummage through its drawers. Okay, let's see. Say that you met Lord Kemi strikes you as more of an old warhorse than an antiquarian. Oh, he's all blood and battle, all right. Until you show him a Ferrolian snuff box or an ancient imperial fainting couch, then he's as giddy as a cat in a field of catnip. <laughs> okay. He knows very well I'm the best in the business. Asked me to value his collection personally. Okay, why? I'm merely appraising the many antiques gathered in here in this beautiful mansion. A roguish little smile suddenly plays upon her lips. Oh my! What else would I be doing? Well, well, what could you be doing, lady? Come on, we both know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tell her she smiles like a general with a stratagem, whatever it is you want in. Oh yeah, baby! I like your confidence. Very well. Consider yourself invited. I think we just got ourselves a burglary job. <laughs> now listen closely. Rumor has it that Lord Kim's mansion is built upon a massive vault in which Ooh. he hides his true valuables. His entire house is but a smokescreen for the real treasure hidden underneath. Mmm, that sounds good. I've had no luck so far in locating this fabled vault. But if you do, I swear the entire hoard is yours. No questions asked. Oh, oh, that sounds weird. There's a hook. What do you want? All I want in return for this information is a trio of curious that is said to be kept inside. The portrait of the divine, the cup of kings, and the scroll of eternity. Everything else is yours. So you oh, you want information upon these, or you you want these? Tell us she has a deal. <laughs> you know about the vault now, bitch! No. Um, no, I actually liked it working together with her. That's a good good idea. Okay, I think she wants these three things. Fine. A most satisfactory arrangement. Can you help me locate it? She shakes her head apologetically. There are only whispers of a vault and quieter whispers still of what it may contain. But at least you know now that it's there. Probably. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did you find them? No, sorry. Ah, oh, so interesting. I, I, from the beginning, I knew she was up to no good. That was so clear. House girl. What is that? The cook? Cook Kono. 
All right, very cool. So we have a interesting little job in this house, which is finding the hidden vault. So we'll waltz around, try to find whatever is hidden down here, and we'll rob him blind. <laughs> Even though we're supposed to save the people from the Void Woken. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, this is just too interesting to not do. Also, let me talk to the bodyguard. I'm working here. Leave me be. What happens if I touch that? Nothing. Also, there's a little kid running around. Yeah, there's a lot of like people and 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 like um. <laughs> me? What? How did you figure that out? What the heck? What the heck? How did that happen just now? How did he notice I... This is like back in the um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion or something. You know, you somewhere you steal something, then from a mile away like a guard comes running. You have broken the law! <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh well. But yeah, if we want to do this, we need to be sneaky. Uh, luckily, I actually figured out, well, figured out, I noticed in my other playthrough. I, had, I have another character that's kind of like Sibyl. It's actually Beast, but he has like a mixture between Sibyl's skill set of Scoundrel and Warfare. And I noticed um, Cloak and Dagger allows you to teleport while sneaking, which is super, super important if you're doing like stealth stuff. So this is going to be playing into this quite... Um, quite well. Although we'll probably use the Red Prince for a lot of uh, dangerous things to do, because he can talk his way out of everything, as, as it seems. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.